Christmas is traditionally a time for the family, of course, where generations gather together to celebrate the festival and their bond with each other. But according to a new survey, eight out of ten people say their family setup doesn't conform anymore to the traditional norm. The Centre for the Modern Family now claims only 16% of the population think of themselves as parents with 2.4 children, which might explain why the Deputy Prime Minister, Nick Clegg, has been mocking what he calls the Tory 1950s view of the family, and why the Archbishop of Canterbury suggested it's fine for Christmas to be chaotic. Well, is the 50s model just no longer true? Liz Fraser is the author of the Yummy Mummy Survival Guide and joins us live. Well, of course the family isn't what it was in the 1950s, uh, but I suppose what we're hearing is some people harking back to wishing it was a bit more like that. Well, I mean, the report that you just mentioned there that was commissioned by Scottish Widows for the Centre for the Modern Family found something really very surprising. I don't know if they were expecting to find this, which is always good when you do a report, you find something unexpected. 84% of people that they asked said that they don't feel they are in a traditional, what we used to call the nuclear family, there's 2.4 children. Now, when you get a statistic like that, and they did ask 3,000 people across all different backgrounds, geographical areas, ages, sexes, religious backgrounds, all sorts of things, when you get a statistic like that, you do have to stop and ask, how are people living in families now? And, and you know, for better or for worse, and that's a whole other issue, we're not living as we did once. And the fact is that families are just changing. And, and there are so many families now which have, you know, they're separated families, so the new families have come in. You've got people at home now preparing for Christmas with half siblings and stepchildren and second marriages. It's very, very complicated. Um, and Christmas is supposed to be this time where we all come together as families, which I have to say I find is, is quite a an odd idea anyway, isn't it? Because we don't choose your family. Um, it's always going to be a very difficult time oh, of year, and I think this year more than ever, actually. When you say you don't choose your own family, do, does, do I detect a kind of a lack of faith in the family unit as prescribed? On your part. Ooh, no, not at all lack of faith in the family unit, but I mean, you don't, as I say, you don't choose your family. And, and so we, we still do hark back to this idea of Christmas time, we all come together. And what do we do? We eat more than we ever do during the year. We drink more. You watch television, you, the heating's turned up high. It is a recipe for a lot of stress, a lot of arguments, a lot of problems. And I always say at family times, you know, make sure that, that the heating's turned down. You know, you don't need to drink so much. Go out for a walk, get away from one another. And then when you are together for short periods of time, it can be, you know, much more enjoyable. But families are unquestionably very, very different now to how they were, you know, even when I was growing up 30 years ago. I can't think of a single person in my class at school whose parents were not still, who, who, who didn't live with both of their biological parents. Whereas now, I've got three children, two at secondary, one at primary. I would say it's probably about 50-50, those who live with both of their biological parents and those who don't. And that's in a 20-year time span. It's difficult though, isn't it? Because a lot of people set out to create a family and they're hoping it'll last and it doesn't. And then we say, well, that's okay because, you know, it's still a good family the way it is. But then the people who have stayed together say, well, hang on, we deserve a gold star for still being a, a pure 1950s family, surely. So, in other words, approving one means we kind of got to tell the others that they're not quite as clever as they've been. It's very hard to know where to take um, findings like this because, you, as you say, you get the polarisation. You get one lot of people who say, well, this is good, this is progressive, or this shows change, and we should uh, embrace this change and help families and all the different setups. And then you get the other side saying, actually, hang on a minute, this is not progressive. Since when is it ever progressive to have dads leaving children or mums leaving children and, and, and all of this? Nobody sets out, as you said, nobody sets out to have their family fail. Everybody wants to raise their children, or, or whether they don't have children perhaps they want to live in some sort of supportive loving structure that can be a gay parents that can be mixed race parents it doesn't matter I would argue that it doesn't matter at all the form of the family doesn't matter because the function remains the same which is that you have a support network and love and respect for one another but the fact is that if it doesn't work it doesn't work and um, there are many uh, child experts who say that a good divorce is better than a terrible marriage for, for children to be living in Maybe the main thing at Christmas is just to give everybody space, a bit of space. So, yeah, the moral is at least relax over the next we couple of days. It's just Christmas, yeah. just relax. All right. <laughs> Liz Fraser, we could talk for hours on this. We Thanks could. very much indeed Thank uh, for you. coming in and talking to us tonight.